In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google to help you do some research on finding your niche on a bunch of different things. One of the first things we're going to talk about is the keyword planner. So this is, you know, the keyword tool as it's a lot of times referred to. You can just type in keyword planner into Google or um, go to this URL keyword planner. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sign into AdWords. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you don't already have an AdWords account, uh, get a Gmail account. I mean, you're going to need a Gmail account a lot. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you don't need to necessarily be spending money with AdWords to be able to use the keyword planner either, which is nice. So let me show you how it works. So a lot of times what I do is search for new keywords using phrase, website, or category. You can also get search volume data. So if you have a lot of words you want to get search volume data from, you can use that multiply keyword list to get new keywords. I mean, all these are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, get click and cost performance forecast. That's more for later on with, uh, when you're actually doing AdWords. So let's start with search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. So I'm trying to decide at this point what I should name our company. That's what we're gonna use for this. So should I, some things I'm thinking of yoga pants, yoga clothes, um, yoga wear maybe. So let's say get ideas. So these are ad group ideas. I don't usually look at that. I click on the keyword ideas and this is where it starts to get fun. So if you look at the number of people searching average monthly searches for yoga pants, 200,000, a little over 200,000 versus yoga clothes, which is less than 15,000. It's pretty obvious that more people are looking for yoga pants. I will say, as we'll find out later, that some of the people searching for yoga pants, they might be searching for pictures of girls in yoga pants or things like that. Yoga clothes in some ways is a little bit better of a keyword, but we're gonna go, um, we're, we're probably gonna end up going with yoga pants for my domain name because that's just so many people searching for it. That seems like a, a pretty good, and also because yoga pants is a something that people are searching for when they're ready to buy, where yoga clothes might not necessarily be a buy ready keyword though that being said this is up to you i might change it the name of the company right now is asana yoga pants.com we might change it to asana yoga clothes.com but for now i'm gonna go with yoga pants just because look at how many more people are searching but if we wanted to use this tool we could also look at some other things such as 5400 people are searching for yoga clothes uh, 3600 people are searching for yoga space wear, yoga leggings so this is interesting 5,400 people are searching for yoga leggings. Maybe that means that I should also sell yoga leggings. Yoga tops, 4,400 people are searching for that. You can see there's just tons of different information here. So I recommend looking through this because there might be something that people use instead of yoga pants. That's a more popular word that they might use. Workout clothes for women. Um, that's not super niche. Yoga clothes for women. It's pretty good. So as you can see, yeah, so there's all that data. So that's one thing. So we, we're we going to probably go with yoga pants versus yoga clothes. But another thing we can do is use Google Trends. So Google Trends is cool because it lets you know the trend of how people are searching for it. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let's say yoga pants. Oops. So if I put this into Google Trends, you'll see that yoga pants have become a much, much more popular thing since around, I don't know, 2011, they've started becoming more popular. So let's add a term. We can also add yoga clothes. And you see something interesting, yoga clothes has actually been pretty static. Relatively speaking, that's the red line is yoga clothes. So yoga pants have become a lot more popular, but yoga clothes hasn't. So that might be a sign that points us to the direction of we want to call the company something asana yoga pants, not asana yoga clothes. So here is the last thing that I recommend doing, which is actually searching for whatever you're trying to rank for here. So if I search for yoga pants, it is a little disconcerting that the first entry is girls in yoga pants. But then we have other things like onesie yoga clothes. So I look at this and I think that I could beat them because they don't even have yoga pants in their meta title there. Uh, they do have yoga pants, Lululemon yoga pants. Um, okay. And that's okay. 
But realistically, that's not what I'd go for. I'd probably go for something more long tail, like red yoga pants. And if you look at red yoga pants, red yoga clothes, red yoga pants. Yeah, so red yoga pants here, split 59. So this split 59, that's not a super well-known website and it's ranking pretty high because it has red yoga pants in the meta title. So this is some of the way that you could do some of the ways you could do some research. Another thing you might want to do, so let's let's go to yoga pants and I might want to look at all right, what does onesies website look like? What does shop.lululemon look like? So onesies website looks like this. I might want to use this as a idea for when I'm creating my website, create something that looks somewhat similar, maybe steal some other ideas. Same thing, Lululemon has a lot of things in common here. Like look at these two. They're relatively similar. So I can look at this and say, okay, what can I add from this? And that's the basic ways that you can use Google to leverage or leverage Google to do research on your competitors and figure out your niche a little bit better. I recommend looking at, you know, adding as many competitors as you can, looking at all this kind of stuff. But that's, that's it for this lesson. If you have any more questions, you can always let me know and I can help you through this. But the big takeaway I think from this lesson is the keyword planner. If you like this video, then you're gonna love my new e-commerce course, the 25K e-commerce profit plan. In it, I teach you the strategies and techniques that I actually use to build my own successful e-commerce business. We talk about how to set up a website, an e-commerce site that actually makes sales, then we talk about how to get traffic to that site and ultimately I give you the tips and techniques on how to make it be as profitable as possible. We talk about things such as SEO, Google Analytics, everything you've heard about AdWords, it's all in there. This is really pretty much everything I know about e-commerce. I put in this one course. I was tired of people asking me, how do I get traffic to my website or how do I build an e-commerce site? And I wanted to just bundle it all up in one course. When you buy the course, you'll get free lifetime access to my private Facebook group. And on top of that, for the first 100 people that buy the course, I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute consultation. You can go to effectiveecommerce.com or click up here now to buy the course and make sure that you get one of the free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions.